<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Gracian, and welcome back to episode 36 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders Planetfall. We are on the planet of Duskor, and we are close to victory. We took Rex in the Alaris capital, destroying four of her stacks of units. So she is not out, but she's down. She's down for the count right now. Um, I don't know where her commander is. If we could find her faction leader, we could kill her completely. Alas, she's hiding somewhere from me. Uh, are you here? Nope. Uh, are you up here? I feel like I would be able to tell. Do you have any heroes left? Aha, here she is. Okay. Oh, shit. She's got a magma worm in here. That's, uh, that's a strong unit. I don't know if you've played with those before, but those are pretty fun. So if we want to take her out, we're going to need a different group because this group is actually kind of weak. Eh, but we're really just looking for an assassination here. We don't really need to... We don't actually need to win the fight. We just need to take her out. Uh, Storm Rage, why are you upset? Because we haven't finished this yet. Okay. Let's confirm movement. Uh, yep, go ahead. I need to get that stupid uh, stack out of the way. They're, they're standing in the way and all my units have to go around. All right, another movement to confirm. That's fine. Uh, we do have this quest. Whatever. Assault bike, sure. Objective completed. Sure. Oh no, we have too much influence again. Just give me a sharpshooter, I guess. Um, okay, so maybe now we take some of these units off to war. like whatever sent Incoming a message communication. okay production ready where is required our zenith now yeah what i need to do is go take alara uh herself out so i could um actually start Kind of like, so if I scooch these guys on over, they can hold the capital. We might need to wait till we have control of it because if all of these come up, I can't, you know, I have to have more defenders. Um, so if I split off my army up here, they could get the capital back. So I need to have the capital dead and their commander dead at the same time to uh, knock them out of the game. And then all of this stuff would just go to neutrals and I could just completely ignore this. Uh, but as long as, I mean, she started this war, so, you know. This is what happens. So Grace is down smack talk right there. Uh, we oh we, there there must be something to prime right. Pulse beam. All right, uh, and turn. Insurrection program. Um, let's get up here. This stack can just knock this out on the way through. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Took like almost no damage all right and then you guys can continue on down there and then you guys can get down to here we are super close looks like next turn we can go do this fight because we've got all of these and then we'll have three more wraiths here uh and then we can just nuke these guys and then we'll move on in. and these guys will just be kind of like support I and mean, they won't really uh, accomplish a whole lot but at least they're you know, three, four of them are quite decent range, so we'll just um. Operations primed and ready. Yeah, we'll just do as much as we can. You know, hostile factions. Well, how does this work? Let's queue that up. That's fun. Still have extra influence, actually. Let's just go to the spacers and buy another melter. Uh, my my second favorite child. All right, confirm movement. Oh yeah, I was just sending these random units up here. So I gotta be real careful here. Now where is Alara? She's over there. So maybe I just send like a hit squad of like two of these stacks. Like Buck and his army, and then we leave like this one and this one behind. That's probably a good idea. There, these two can probably handle the defense of the city. Uh, we have turrets, but no militia. These guys are very strong. These guys are not. Um, so if they came up here with... Wait, wait, wait. There's a stack missing. 
There was more, there were more enemies down here. Uh oh, do they have camouflage? Maybe they have forest camouflage. Maybe they're right here. How far can you get into there? All right. Uh, up here we have this gold site, but I think at this point. No thanks. Let's just wait. I think um, we're just gonna end the game here soon. Kleenex. I don't. I literally do not know what your job is. Oh, you just like make science and food and stuff, right? So just sit around making science. It's fine. Okay, next, another sector. Let's get this one. Oh. Uh, um, wait. Wait. I can't. Uh, wait. Why can't I annex this? Modify sector. There we go. Sorry, got confused. Annex another sector, so you're ready to gobble this one up, which we'll hopefully get next turn. Uh, all right, let me send a message. Incoming communication. What, that you don't want to die? What's this? 253? That's a weird number. Not enough military power to support war, plus 147. Oh, yeah, so they like me more because I'm kicking their ass, is what I'm hearing. All right, end turn. All right, we're in the next turn. There are no more wraiths coming, so let's just go and um, let's get down to here. Probably like that, and then we want to operations nuke. primed and ready. The pulse beam cannon, bam. And then which of these armies is stronger? This one's. What the, there's so many flying units, though. I think it's still that one. What's this one do? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sleeper Xenome. Boop. 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 Not allowed to click on that. Boop. There we go. That's weird. Uh, so that one's wounded more? Barely. Oh. It only affects... Why does that do that? Ah! Receive proposal. No! You're going to give me 300 energy? To... I get 5,000. Um... Eh, we should probably do this one manually because it might be the final fight. Should be kind of a blowout, especially when I cast in sand. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate the tornadoes. Really freaking me out. If I lived in a place like this, I would have constant anxiety attacks. Okay, so we have a bunch of wraiths. Yep. Does everybody get up to cover? And then we'll we'll prepare to, to launch ourselves in there and do some serious damage. What's going on here? I don't really have anywhere. Eh, this is pretty safe. Oops, oops, oops. Nope, nope. I want you in defense mode. And then over here, all of these guys are kind of weak out here on the on the barges. So we're just going to load up a breach shot here. Yeah, they're real slow, too. You can see I don't have it. I, can, I lose green if I move even a single step. That's not going to matter. They're probably not going to get close enough. No, they will. They will. This guy. Stop it. This guy right here is going to charge in and use his AoE. He's going to run to here and he's going to blast these guys. So um, what we want to do is probably scoot. Kind of keep like a couple hexes between everybody. Now we're real squishy here because we're on a boat and there's that event. So like everybody's going to have like, yeah, real low defenses here. Um... So you are the only unit that can really take any damage here. Let's back up. You behind there. So really, we're just waiting for the wraiths and the insanity. Oh, God. Father Bill, run.
Okay, it's time to initiate beam protocol. Ooh, they they want to fight that stack. I'm gonna have to run, have to run away with those guys. Okay, uh, let's do it. This was always the plan. Mass insanity. Bam. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, a lot of insanities. <gasps> Did we get the big one? Yes, we got the big one. Oh, they're gonna kill the shit out of each other. <laughs> All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. So I think we scoot way on up into their ranks here because we're gonna get, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can just get right on up in there. Oh my God, we got insanity off on that one too. Whoa. Yeah, so we wanna split the damage up a little bit because we want them, oh, I'm encouraging them to, damn it, why are you always doing this? You're not there, you're here. Why are you doing that? Why do you guys float away? Uh, let's get you guys to... Oh, you can go to here. Just spit on him. Uh, who's not insane right now? Oh, you can't do anything because you're fascinated. Stupid sci-fish. Uh, we need this one to be insane. Or dead. Or both. Serves them right. Of course, they got my commander. Nice, insanity. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Every single unit they own is insane. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sci fish units. Well, ten plus this Harrier. Insane right now. Fantastic. This is this is my favorite turn. Never taken a turn more fun than this. Alright, we'll start shooting this big idiot back here, because he's gonna be a pain in the ass. Except for Father Bill, you might want to maybe buff your accuracy and then, like, um, can shoot. Hmm. Boom. Enemy annihilated. Who has armor? No one. Let's just shoot somebody over here on the periphery. Never mind. Oh. Goodbye. Serves them right. All right, who hasn't gone? Everybody's already insane, so let's go to here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having fun. Uh, that's it. All right, so let's let's turn this down to one time speed. I got to see this. All right. Enemy annihilated. All right. One down. Hey, don't kill my friends or Enemy I'll kill you. Down. Hey. Don't kill that guy or I'll kill you. Old <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my Serves God. Right. <gasps> oh my God. This is so cool. Oh, that graze, it would have been a kill, but it says he's going to kill. <laughs> oh, he Enemy killed himself. <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> oh, he missed him. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, it was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Oh shit, he's dying. Uh, here, uh, shoot him with health. Boop. Oh my god, I want Indentured to get some kills here. They deserve it. They've, they've been uh, hard at work for no money. Serves them right. Uh, we can get our super big shot here. You know, just a quick 47 damage to the guy with like one health. Enemy destroyed. And then who should get the final kill? Probably a Wraith, right? So let's get this, let's get uh, Candle Quick freed. Enemy down. And she's the Wraith Master here. Shit. Good riddance. Our forces are victorious. <laughs> I mean, I knew I had big advantages in that fight, but that was all oh, Plague Lord. Finally. What the fuck? It's like turn 100. That's stupid. All right, now we just gotta. Um, um, uh, Annex. I don't know if that matters for the win, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so we researched some stuff. Now I think the game the game may end when I end turn, 
So let's just um, let's just be careful about this, just in case. It'd be stupid to lose now. We are going to work on approaching Alar. Now that's an alarming amount of power. So we may not be strong enough with this group. So let's be careful that they don't end up sneaking over here and killing me. Uh, you can get to uh, around there somewhere. So let's go to here. Uh, unexploited sector. I literally don't, could not care less about that right now. So I'm busy. Uh, I don't want her dead at the end because as far as I can tell, if you have a dead hero when the game ends, they don't get the level up, like the out of like the meta progression, which is strange. Uh, so we're not going to let that happen. Oh my god, I, there's so many notifications. Um, just, I, I don't know, just take this one, who cares? And turn. I'll pause. Aha! Claim victory, we did it. Victory condition capable pets. Wait, what? Wait, we were trying to make them pets? That's weird. Continuing to play will disable all secondary objective victory conditions. No, claim victory is fine. Don't you freeze on me. Okay, there we go. Turn 107. Uh, with Father Bill, tentacle lover. Oh, that was a, that was a stressful one. That one uh, for in the, the middle, like, 37 episodes. <laughs> so we got five levels, uh, or four levels in Cynumbra, which we didn't actually play. Xenoplague, we went from 13 to 16. Syndicate, we only got to level two with, which is... Fascinating. So we've only unlocked like two things from this faction, although that one's not bad. So we have some more interesting stuff from them. We've got all of the different initiates here. Embrace of Darkness. Yeah, lots of initiates. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so we didn't really get anything exciting up here. Now here we got three levels in Amazon. We've unlocked Primal Override, uh, the Lancer, and the Sentinel. That's not a bad unit. Momentary Insight. Eh, we need more work on that one. Synthesis, that's okay. Celestian, we got a little bit of experience. Territory a little bit, but not enough to level again. And uh, we completed everything but this Signs of a New Strain. And we got Father Bill. Everybody here leveled up once, which is great. And we got the Re Resonance Gland that will let us use Thunder Maws and Thunder Maw Swarmlings. And the Void Lore, which lets us do all the Psy Fish stuff and lets us get some of their mods. Like that focus chimera, which is very fun. So, and that might be something I want to bring in next time I use somebody with uh, psionic powers, like the Oathbound or something. Uh, or uh, Kirko actually have that as well. So let's accept that. Uh, yep, we're going to accept the results of that planet. Let's take a look at our graph here. So here's us, Father Bill. We were definitely having some, some troubles versus everybody else. In fact, is this... Oh, this is where I lost all of my units trying to fight... Uh, oh, it can, it's moves the, yeah, it's trying to show me what the world looked like back then. Yeah. That's back when I was, um, losing my war here to a boss, uh, back in this area. And then, you know, eventually we managed to eke out a couple of victories. So let's actually turn, um, let's turn off everybody, but a boss, being a little slow here because it's trying to okay come on i don't need you to do that right now thank you adam mckinley cyneric a boss okay so about here we started losing um our battles here and then i lost another one here and then i lost another one here now, I think this is where I end up losing Lordran. Here's where I lost that big chunk of troops. Here's where I lost Lordran, I think. And then I came back and I ambushed Abaz's couple of stacks that were, like, around here somewhere. And I ambushed a couple of them. And I managed to get a huge win. I think I took, like, one or zero unit losses in the fight. And then I just sat around building up. But because I had basically even the playing field and I had a really powerful military city in the works i was able to push in eventually with some better troops than they were able to get i was also starting to build up 
like remod my units, make them more valuable, more powerful, more accurate. And I was starting to bring in those sharpshooters and those um, uh, melters with all of their mods that ended up being extremely valuable. Just taking things out from afar, blowing cover up, sh shredding armor, and then just sniping things. And also healing. Those, those snipers are really something. And then... Once we took them out of the game, we had so much resources opened up because we had the rest of this continent to ourselves. We got bat we got all of these cities, and then we uh, settled this one as well. So we, we were building up on, like, we basically gained another, like, 40, like, our empire grew by, like, 45%. So we, we had a lot more info resources coming in. And that's about the point where I started making so much money that I just really never needed it. I spent all my influence on units, so I never needed the money. I ended up with, like, 5000 um, and so that was where we were able to turn our attention to the Psyfish and to Alara. And that's where we uh, launched that little attack down here, um, down along this city. And we took out their, um, it was like Jundafel, I think was the name of the city. So we took that out and then Alara had to basically sit around waiting because she didn't want to die. Meanwhile, we were crushing everything in this direction. We took over the, the Psyfish and then we started building more wraiths. Then we moved over to here and grab the other sci-fish layer and uh that was actually awesome so that was a really fun one the, the middle was definitely stressful a little bit frustrating at times when i felt like i was just throwing my units against a wall and they were just dying but i wasn't i wasn't modding them very well and i also had a lot of unmodded ones that were just not worth the time i just felt like i needed something which i don't i don't think i made the wrong i don't think i made the wrong decision in building those but maybe i could have used them better or something um, cause I know swarming with like tier one units is certainly a possibility. It's just that they're so inaccurate that I was just getting so many grazes and misses. It was just really bad. Um, so yeah, that was a really, really fun one. So let's head back to the map. We've got a little bit of time left in this episode. So let's just take a look at some of the other planets. Um, by the time you guys see this, I'll be two days from posting the first one of the next series. So unfortunately you won't get a chance to, uh, oops, I didn't mean to go to the map. You won't get a chance to go to the, um, what's happening here? Can I just, um, uh, hang on. Okay, there we are. By the time you guys see this one, uh, I'll have already started the next series, obviously. So, um, so now we have Spirit Rise, Meltcore, Zithray, Ivaria, Gessus, Dio's Lament, and Duskor all conquered. And so we started here in the center, and then we kind of went along this way. This Maelstrom is not really in the right place but that's okay and so now it's time to look at a new world i think so let's take a look i think i might um hall of heroes so i think i might want to turn off father bill tentacle lover because i don't like him <laughs> so i just want to see like these other heroes maybe so i'll make it whoever i make next um i'll leave all of these ones on i think they're all viable in most compositions whereas i think the Kirko Celestian skills are too specific for what he does, and the Xenoplague as well. Um, Synthesis wasn't too bad, especially because Buck has so many support skills, and then the Breach power he gives that lets people penetrate armor and shield is quite nice as well. So I think these are all units that can kind of work in any army, but I don't think Syndicate Xenoplague... The Syndicate side actually had some useful stuff, but... Um, I guess the Xenoplague wasn't too bad either because he could get like Skitter and then the like Healy thing. Hmm. That might not be too bad. Maybe we'll leave Father Bill Tentacle Lover on. Um, maybe we'll do that. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at our progression. So our highest is Xenoplague for some reason. And then Vanguard. Herator is up there, even though we have zero Herator characters. Um, our lowest is Assembly. Now, that's because we played one game of Assembly and we won in like seven episodes, which was real stupid. But we just happened to ally with both of the Devar players that were like big. And that was a win condition. And we did it in like seven episodes. I was like, oh, all right, well, I'll just move on then. Kirko, we played a full game, Syndicate, but we only got... A couple levels out of it. Um, I know that a lot of it comes from the questing and stuff, but it's just surprising how little you get for actually playing 107 turns of Syndicate. Uh, let's go over the Reliquary. So we now have a full row plus one of abilities. So we have the, um, the Therians. We have the Mycelians. We have the Hopperhounds. 
we have the RPR units, we have the Thunder Maws, we have the bunch of animal units, and we have the Psy Fish, which is super cool. So now I'm looking to basically unlock more of these. What I really want to do is get all of these um, units. Grail configuration of unity on a conquered planet. Yes, yeah, so we got to look for Grail things to get some of these. Um, but there's lots of other fun stuff. Paragon, I don't care about at all. Autonoms are awesome. Ooh, Forgotten. Quartzites, that would be fun. Apostates, that's cool. Yeah. So let's take a look at, a, at the planet options we have. We have Vovo. That sounds like something in health class. I don't... Okay. Uh, we don't have anything to unlock here, so I'm really not interested in that. Uh, Pessim D, I feel like this planet keeps popping up, and I never want you because you are too low. What's aggressive settlers? Settlements cannot be bought with influence. Oh, I thought they meant like the AI would settle aggressively, but no, they mean like the other cities are like mad at you all the time. Uh, Tremor D, I mean nine. I don't, well, how did I do that? Uh, Ivaria Z, <laughs> now wait a minute. I've been to Ivaria Z and it was a lava planet. Thank you very much. This has psychoactive crystals, which would let us get psionica. Um, this would also unlock the... Uh, psionica crystal which is cool power hub energy and bronze energy are common production are rare research are absent Ooh, weird research nodes and research landmarks so not sectors but nodes interesting imaging satellites on arrival the map is fully explored this is interesting this could be the one we take psionica spawners are common Tactical operations do not cost energy, but we'll have a lot of energy from the power hub. That's a wild combination of things. We have Nova Magnus. This is cool. Look at this uh, debris. Covert operations are never detected. Colonies cannot grow beyond 12. Hazards are common. Bulldag. Uh, nothing interesting there. And then we have Bro, Bro, Broina. We have chameleonic, all neutral and NPC factions owned units get universal camouflage. Ugh, turbulent atmosphere again for flying units. High tides, land masses are minimal. The world is divided into continents. So you're saying that there would be invisible chalices floating around because I'd rather die. And Paragon Warlord. So the Paragons will be at war with me, but I won't be able to see their units attacking. Uh, Paragon units gain the overcharge augment ability, but we would unlock the Imperial Crown. Interesting. So it's between Bruhina and Ivaria Z, the duplicate, which I wish I could rename, but I don't think I can. Um, this sucks less than Invisible Paragon forces attacking me, so I may end up doing this one, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So whatever we do, we'll go ahead and put the uh, opponents on hard when we do it, uh, and then we'll keep the rest of this probably this to whatever it, it ex um, expects of us. Um, I, I'm willing to fiddle around with the stuff in here, but I kind of like the idea that I'm not really controlling what's on these planets or how big they are and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty interesting to me. So thank you everybody so much for watching. This was a very long series, but I had a, a lot of fun playing it and I'm, I'm very appreciative of everybody who uh, stayed with me through the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. I appreciate you watching and I hope I will see you in my next series. See you then.